the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And we are getting set for our first Champions League game of the season. And let's bring you up to speed with that. Uh, this is our group. I think it's a bit... A bit spicy. Um, I think three of those four teams, including ourselves, could qualify as uh, top two before we've even kicked a ball. Um, also, we are coming into this match uh, fourth in the Premier League after an indifferent start to the season. Uh, I'll bring you up to speed at what you've missed. So, in the last episode, it was a Leicester win, uh, then the 2 2 draw at West Ham. Since then, we took on Cardiff at uh, Cardiff Arms Park and we won. Um, or kind of city ground, sorry. Everyone three one. We actually uh, fell behind on this one. We're on the fourteenth minute. Sam Field with the rocket to open up the goals. Uh, in the, uh, later on that game, uh, we got ourselves back into it. Jimmy Flinch scores first of two for the day. Uh, Gun get involved in the second. Comes out to Trincao who pings it across for Guns first of the season. It makes it two one. Um, and then we wrapped it up to put a little bit dicky bow on it with a, a kind of loose ball. Flinch it rams at home. To make it 3-1, three, 3 points in the bag. Then we brought it back to Ewood and a bit of a, a bit of a stodgy one. I think uh, Bournemouth actually played with no strikers in here, uh, but they still managed to score a goal. Everaldo opened up the scoring four rovers on the 36 minutes with this reasonably long range effort. Uh, and then Gareth Ball, a man who I've kept an eye on. It could be my next mega buck signing um, in a season or two. He leveled it for us we actually missed a penalty as well but Jamie Flinchett continued his nice scoring start to the season then back to back draws um, first and foremost up against Wolves 2-2 Wolves actually went 2-0 up here and scored the first goal within two minutes by the man of Everton Angus Gunn had no chance picking that one out uh, the second goal was Ashley Pritchard who was uh, I got a bit of interest in him over the summer Trinkow made it 2-1 he actually got the second from a free kick as well so double goals for him uh, but yeah Pritchard was also a subject of a 70 million pound move from Arsenal but it looks like he stayed put and then right here right now we have just taken on uh, Brighton and we drew 2-2 Caro added to his goal tally for the season through this little tap in to make it 1-0 before Brighton leveled it Vicious Junior to Fabio those two linked up nicely last season and that made it 1-1 uh, they actually took the lead here through whoever it was, Luffabash, to make it 2-1. Before we snatched ourselves, getting back into the game, Trincao providing it, Gun making it 2-2. Two, two. So that brings you up to speed. And I'm actually quite interested to see where Trincao is in the old goal-scoring charts. He is not far off, fourth. Uh, Jordi Van Plas is running away with it at the moment with eight goals. Caruso last season's runaway goal-scoring leader is hot in the heels as well. So focus switches to the old Champions League and AC Milan. That's right. Um, we've played each other four times over the years. One, they've won three, we've won one. So it's it's going to be a difficult one, and we're going to play obviously with a with a defensive uh, formation. Just bear with me while we revamp this team okay folks here we go with Ryan and goal white ayala gasic palomino apazo Everaldo, maitland nars trincao lozano gets his first this is actually his first game i don't think i've played him since so this is his debut up against ac milan at the old san siro and roll house up top let's go for it boys hopefully we can get something out of this game to start our uh, champions league campaign in positive style Of 
quick look at the uh, AC Milan lineup. Who's this fella? Jong Kyung So, South Korean, valued at 54 million, and Bayern are sniffing around. Uh, any other familiar names? Alex Awobi on the left hand side. Uh, Donnarumma, but still between the six. Okay, let's uh, let's try and get some out of this game. A little bit nervous. Because we don't want to start with a defeat, boys. We want to start in positive style. Doesn't look good at the moment. Uh, I should have clicked on um, Victor Bosbin. Within the first four minutes. It's given. Flipping. AC Milan. Flipping lead. Break it. Come on, boys. Ryo grabs that one out of thin air. Highlight continues. Ayala to Apazo. Maisy run. Rollhauser. Instant fight back, boys. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's demand some more. So, if we can get... If we pick a, a point or more away from home, it's amazing. Win our home games... Try not to lose our away games. And we'll be all a okay. Thirty minutes gone. Drama puts that long. White picks it up. Back to Ayala. To White. Looking for an option. Averaldo's there's the option. Back to now Maitland Niles. Tackled Bobbin. Bob's in the goal scorer. Puts it up to Awobi. Whoops across and it's dangerous. A lot of Rovers players in there. And it bundles around. Eventually goes out for a corner. And we're living on the edge here, boys. Let's just get rid of it. Raya comes out and grabs it. I think I really need to give the Raya a run out. Just, oh, that's cynical. Bob's in to make it two. Big save, David Raya. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just ease our way out of this mess. So look, Lozano's been pretty much a ghost so far. Chance here, Trincao. Rich goal scoring for Gasic. Cannot keep it going. Always a threat though is Trincao. And, you know, he might be quiet, but he's always got that in his locker. And so far we're hanging in. Rollhauser opens up the second half. Rovers, hopefully, can string some passes together and get something out of this next 45. Around right about the hour mark. This is where you usually make some changes. I'm just sitting on the fence about doing that at the moment. just want to ride this wave. Dortmund putting up a benchmark against Salzburg, 4-0 up. White, back to Ayala. Let's play some smart football, boys. Smart football. Long ball, Rollhauser collects it nicely. Done, and there he is. It's his third goal of the season. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Rollhauser with daily double. Lozano, been absolutely nothing. I'm actually going to make a change. Kure's coming on for Lozano, and we're going to flip-flop him and put Matey Boy there. Barlow's going to come on as well for Gasic. Trinkau over the top. Oh, Rollhauser gets a hat-trick. Is that, is that onside? Is that onside? No. It was a little bit cheeky, wasn't it, by, uh, by Trinkau's effort? Hopefully, just hang tight, boys. This will be a monster, monster start to our Champions League campaign. Into stoppage time now. In the last 15 seconds, Raya plays it short to Ayala. Back to the keeper. Picks out White. To Ospazo. Nice little mazy run. Tries to set it down the middle, but it's over. Job done. Rovers with a valuable 3-2-1 three, uh, three, win over Milan, despite going behind early doors. Not a bad start, but Dortmund looked pretty decent. 5-0 winners over Salzburg. Okay, folks. Uh, 
Okay, folks, focus switches to the old Premier League now, folks. We're Bad Boy Rovers taking on Newcastle. Uh, over the years, we played each other 11 times in all competitions. I'm going to sit up if I'm going to do this. Uh, we've won eight of them. They've won one. We've drawn two. Now we come into this match in fourth. They come into this match in sixth. So hot on our heels. And in fact, a win for them could see them leapfrog us uh, into fourth spot. A win for us, though. No change whatsoever uh, as the United already have a six, uh, four point lead on us. Um, and Arsenal and City could extend that lead with games this weekend. So we're going to go with a 4-2-4 four, four, uh, formation or 4-4-2, four, four, depending on how you look at it. I actually want to give Lewis Kure a game here. Um, so hopefully get him up and running. Because um, his game time has been limited to a couple of substitute appearances. He has picked up injuries. Over the years, Kangen is also on the bench. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, Noop. We're not going with Angus Gunn. Uh, David Ryan continues in goal. Petucha Gasset, Shave Nesbit. No, 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 no. What's up to my Palomino? Palomino needs to get in on this action. Uh, Petucha Gasset, Shave, Palomino, Maitland Arse, Stepanovic, uh, Flintchit, Trinkow, Rollhauser, and Kure up top. Just checking the bench, seeing if we've got some options uh, in and everywhere. These two are too familiar. Um, Chuck Charlie Brown on there. How's his? How's he looking? We'll give we'll give him a blast. He, he he's a bit of a Lewis Kure is uh, Charlie Brown. He could be a little bit of a surprise package. Okay, quick look at the Newcastle lineup coming into this in a defensive uh, formation. A lot of regens knocking about. Not too familiar with uh, a bunch of these players, so it'll be interesting. Lockyer was a bit of a top goal scorer last season uh, in the Championship, so we got to keep an eye on him. All right, game on, boys. Game flipping on. Five minutes on the clock. We've opened up positively. Four shots already. Two on target. 73% possession. But we need to make this possession count. Because um, it's no good doing all this and then, you know, not not creating the chances and scoring the goals. Third, just around about 30 minutes gone. Rover's looking a bit bland. We just need a bit of a bit of a kick up our backsides. Come on, lads! Anything, any highlight whatsoever. We go Trinkhouse corner. Gasset just had it over the top. That, that's that's as good as we get. It's as good as it gets, folks. Into the old last couple of minutes. Half time is looming. <coughs> Excuse me, and it looks like it's here, and it looks like it's absolutely diabolical nil nil. Okay, second half gets underway. We are spicing it up a bit, coming in at this, attacking now, hopefully to find uh, a goal or two. Looking at my bench, Kangin's probably going to come on. I might even just chuck Charlie Brown on, just for the giggles. Go on, Charlie Brown. Surprise me. Surprise me. This is your chance. This is your moment to take it by the scruff of the neck. And... Uh, and score me a goal. Score me a worldie. And that was a corner by Kangin to Trinkau. And eventually nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can I switch this please? Anything boys. Anything. You're pissing all over them. Absolutely pissing all over them. You're not taking these chances. Into the final stretch. No way. No pissing way. Are they going to snatch it right at the death? Not taking our chances here, guys. I'm pretty pissed off with this. Oh, my goodness. Cometh the hour. Cometh the man. Maitland Niles scores a valuable goal. We could not... Of uh, come out of this with just a one point. That would have been absolutely horrific. 
Well, it was not one for the eyeballs, folks. We did flick the switch, but we'll flick it back because that was absolutely dire. Well, my friends, that's going to wrap up this episode. We do uh, exit this episode in fourth spot. Newcastle dropped to seventh. Burnley, I just see them there, are in a bit of a rough old time. Um, a lot of goals conceded. But anyway, City still top the pops quite convincingly at the moment. Uh, but we remain unbeaten. They're 100% record so far, 7 out of 7. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to sidestep the old Middlesbrough game and we'll be back for the Arsenal Borussia Dortmund double header, folks. So you won't miss any of the, the high drama there. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. Back tomorrow, same time, same place for some more Football Manager, whatever it is called. Football Manager 2019 action, boys. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.